Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. There are also several ways that you can create a basic data entry form using the buttons that are available in the Forms group on the Create tab in the ribbon. Note that in Access 2010, some of these choices have been moved into the More Forms drop-down buttons menu of choices. So to create a form in this manner, however, you must first select the name of the table or query in the navigation pane for which you want to create an associated data entry form. Once you've made your selection, you can then click on the type of form that you want to create from the buttons listed in the Forms group on the Create tab in the ribbon. When you do this, Access will instantly create a form of the specified type for the selected table or query. The only difference between the forms that are created is the style of form that you select when you click the corresponding button. So let's look at some of the more popular choices and how each button selection changes the layout of the resultant form. So you can select your desired table or query from the navigation pane, and then simply click the Form button to create a standard data entry form that displays one record at a time from the underlying data source. You can click the Split Form button to create a standard data entry form that shows the current record at the top of the form and then an accompanying datasheet view of the underlying data source at the bottom of the form. You can choose the Multiple Items button to create a form that displays multiple records in the form, but only each record in its own row within the form. This is a larger style, I suppose, of the standard datasheet view. And simply note that in Access 2010, the split form and multiple items choices have been moved to choices that are available from the More Forms drop-down button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.